Two years ago, I made a video entitled Assholes on YouTube Mega Save 007. And what I did is made a video response to Mega Save 007. And it was my very first YouTube video that I made a video response towards to. And I have to say, it was kind of, you know, fun. You know. Mmm! had some very powerful words to say but that was like two years ago today I got like a new camera a laptop and stuff so what should I do for my two-year anniversary of assholes on YouTube how about I recreate assholes on YouTube um, but I'm not going to title it, title it Assholes on YouTube. I'm going to put it, you know, shorten it down to A-O-Y-T. That's short for Assholes on YouTube. <laughs> so, who should I make fun of? Hmm. Oh, I know. There's a guy named State of Daniel. He uh, made a video entitled Why Atheists Are Wrong. <laughs> you can tell you're gonna like this guy. <laughs> I want to thank official GATG for um, making a video about this guy. Now it's my turn to make a video on this guy. So how about we begin? <laughs> I don't see how this could go wrong. Hey YouTube. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick of atheist diminishing Christian intellect. Well, sorry to say, pal, but uh, <laughs> it's usually the other way around. And most of the time, you don't really need atheists in order to diminish your, diminish Christian intellect. And I'm not talking about Christians in general. I'm talking about those stupid, stupid Christians who think that they are so much better than than anyone any other religion, including atheists, because they believe in a God. They have the Holy Bible, therefore they know so freaking much. Those are the type of Christians that I that I really dislike. And they make Christianity look like a pile of crap. There's this notion that atheism and science rely on evidence, whereas religion relies on blind faith. Two things are wrong about that assertion. Number one, there's an incredible amount of evidence behind any major religion, particularly Christianity. That's just crap. Completely crap. Where the hell is your evidence exactly? I mean, where is it? Are you going to provide an example of evidence? No. So then, where's the evidence? Where the hell is the evidence? Evidence. You you got none. Hell, what? Where? Where is the evidence? Is it the Holy Bible? Is the Holy Bible is evidence for God? I doubt that. I doubt that it is. Con it's considered to be evidence at, at for anything. Where is the evidence? Number two, science has required, requires, and will require faith. Oh. Science does not require faith. Science does not need faith. Faith is not needed in science. Science is based on facts and observation. Because of science, we know on how things work. You don't need faith in something that's already a proven fact. For example, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Just as much as just as much as you don't need faith in in order to know that by putting gasoline inside a car the car will run. 
You don't need faith in that. You you know that a car will run with gasoline because it is proven by science. Science will tell you that. Many advances made in science happened because some of the greatest minds in history employed faith to pursue those frontiers. 97% of scientists are evolutionists and atheists. Yeah, they were employ faith. Furthermore, science requires faith because assumptions are made all the time, and they're usually assumptions that scientists can't prove. These assumptions you're talking about has been made has been made due to years and years of observation. It may not be true, but there's some evidence backing up these assumptions. <sighs> just who do you think that these scientists are? You think that these scientists just, you know, one day decided to just look at the planet Earth and decided, hmm, okay, we gotta pull something out of our asses. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how the world should work. You see, dude, there's a difference between an assumption and a theory. You're basically mixing up the two. For instance, we assume that we can generalize future laws based on past laws. But what would happen if we woke up tomorrow and gravity wasn't working or the Earth suddenly reversed orbit? Science would be screwed if the laws of physics were suddenly different. And what if the laws of physics are different in different galaxies? If so, who's to say that they one day won't change in ours? Okay, first of all, that will never happen. Second of all, human nature has been adapting throughout the ages. I mean... Have you not been studying evolution? We know how to adapt to the environment. If the environment were to all of a sudden change, then it will only take us about a few days, if not a few weeks, to adapt to the environment, and we get used to it. Like, for example, did you know that uh, NASA sent spiders out to space? At first, uh, they had trouble, you know, netting their webs, but as soon as they got used to the gravity, well, lack of gravity, um, they managed to spun webs. You can look it up on Google if you like, it's true. The reality is that there's a lot that science doesn't know and can't answer, even beyond the argument of creation. Not yet. Not yet. It hasn't. Just like on how I haven't sprouted wings. Yet. For example, science can't tell you the difference between good and evil. Science can't tell us that rape is wrong. Sure, we accept that as a value judgment, but science can only tell us what's observable and testable. Science is definitely not a place for morality. It's just something that you use in order to prove something to be right or wrong. Okay. And besides, it doesn't take science to prove what is, you know, if rape is good or bad because we can observe on how rape is wrong. If it has a negative impact on someone, then of course it's wrong. Now, on the other hand, if people enjoy being raped, that there's no way in the world that we should consider it to be wrong because no one is getting hurt in a negative way. So, in some weird-ass universe, if rape is pretty common and no one gets hurt, that means that rape is good. It has no negative impact. But this is reality, right? So, rape is bad because it has a negative impact. And even then, a degree of faith and assumption making is required. That's what pisses me off, because atheists basically claim that believing in a flying spaghetti monster is as ridiculous as believing in Jesus, because both require faith. Let's take a look at some YouTubers. Why do I have the feeling that you're gonna put pretty much every atheist into this stupid stereotype? <laughs> I wonder people is asking me to prove to them that there's no God 
which is an impossible thing to ask for somebody to do because it's impossible to disprove a negative. No, I don't think I could prove to you that God doesn't exist just like I couldn't prove to you there's a flying pink unicorn in this room right now. I can't prove to you that there's no fairies. I can't prove to you that there's not a flying spaghetti monster. It's like I couldn't prove there's a flying spaghetti monster out there. A flying spaghetti monster. Unlike the flying spaghetti monster, there's incredible historic evidence that backs Christianity. First of all, you're basically putting the videos out of context, okay? Seriously, you, you actually have been putting it out of context. You know, it's kind of cute that, you know, you have the time to set up your entire script on your video description and yet don't have the time to actually put down links in your video. I mean, I know they're from the atheist, that atheist guy and Jacqueline Glenn, but you gotta provide links, brother, because you gotta show your fans the entire video. Otherwise, they get the wrong freaking idea. I see what you did there. And second, where the hell is your freaking sources? You don't provide a link. You don't even provide an example. Where is your evidence? You got none, brother. At least back up your claims. There are more available manuscripts of scripture than there are other historic and ancient texts that atheists have no problem believing. My point is that atheists are hypocritical and really dumb when they mock faith because faith is needed in science as well. No, it is not needed at all! But those are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. I usually cover politics in my videos, but I think I'm going to venture into religion as well. So subscribe and like me on Facebook and I'll see you soon. exactly leaving a comment, but uh, I will be making a video response, because 500 letters to describe on how stupid your video is, is, um, you know, not a very easy task considering that you tried so freaking hard to actually call atheists a bunch of freaking morons. So, you know what, I'm just going to summarize this entire video because I'm already wasting too many brain cells on this guy. You, sir, are an asshole. You don't know it daily squad. You basically put atheists into the stereotype that we are just a bunch of assholes snorting up like this and looking down at Christians thinking that because they believe in a god, we have some sort of higher understanding and we have some sort of right that to bully Christians into thinking that believing in God is very, very stupid and they should be ashamed. You're an asshole to think that science is is based on faith as well even though I already said that science is based on facts and observation you should reannounce using electricity any electronic any tool whatsoever because you somehow need faith in order to use science. You are a moron. And I'm actually ashamed that I'm actually the same gender as you. And even more ashamed that you're the same species as I am. You are one vile idiot.
that is all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Click on the link down in the description to um, watch my very first video uh, video response to Mega Sage 007. <laughs> I guarantee you, you guys are going to enjoy my uh, very old video. <clears throat> you can also click in the, in the other link in the description to watch official GATG's video. And there's also a few other links down in the description. Um, I mean, if I can find the original videos on uh, what this guy has shown, uh, I will also put the links in the description so that way you can got you guys can watch the entire video that's not out of context therefore you can pretty much enjoy yourself and see that this guy is not that smart I am the atheist gamer pace the game out <laughs>